In our today's video, we will talk about day trading stocks. Are they good for you or not? So subscribe to our channel now, and press the bell icon to get more regular updates. Are you considering investing? Answer these questions before buying another stock or making any investment. Many invest blindly. They may do this themselves or delegate decisions to a broker or retirement plan manager who spreads bets thin. Stocks may appear unduly confusing at first glance. This may be done to encourage investors to use default investment vehicles and hand over control of their funds to a third party. In any case, you should at least be familiar with the essentials. Ask these 10 questions to obtain a clearer picture of what you're getting into. Number 10. What is the company all about? It is possible that you may not know everything there is to know about each of the firms and the assets they hold, but you should have a general understanding of what the business entails. What are they doing there? What kinds of goods and services do they offer, and how do they do business? How do they get their financial footing? Who are the company's top executives and decision makers, and how do they control the company? Number 9. How much money are they making? Are there any sales made and money brought in? Do they have a gross profit or do they have a gross loss? A great number of multi-billion dollar firms are either in the process of coming public or have been publicly listed for several years but are still posting losses in the hundreds of millions of dollars or the billions of dollars range. If they are losing money, do they at least have a way to make sales that are not subsidized, real revenues, and true profits even if they are losing money? How does their revenue, profits, and margin stack up against their competitors, the benchmarks for their industry, and other stocks? Number 8. What is the historical performance of this stock? Not only are companies going to want to know about your income, but they will also want to know about your credit score and your credit history before they will extend you credit or give you money, right? They believe that your previous performance is the strongest indicator of your potential for future success. So, how has this stock's performance been up to this point? What growth rates and returns have been offered to investors by the company? You will also be able to find out if they have been giving dividends to their stockholders and how constant their growth has been by looking at this section. Number 7. What is the P.E. ratio? The price to earnings ratio sometimes known as the P.E. ratio, is frequently used in the pricing and comparison of stocks. That is the ratio of the amount you are paying for a share to the amount of money that share has historically been able to make. Therefore, if the price to earnings ratio is 10, it indicates that you are paying $100 for a share that has the potential to earn $10 over the following year. When analyzing and shopping for companies based on their P.E. ratios, it is important to consider how other stocks are now priced and previous P.E. ratios. You should also make sure that you are evaluating risk-based returns. Number 6. What is the market? What market or industry does this company serve? Not only in terms of business type but also geographically. Which customers do they serve? Are there only wealthy individuals in San Francisco? Or are there billions of prospective clients globally? What is this market's entire value? Is it anticipated to increase or decrease during the time you want to hold your investment? Understanding the market and its size relative to the company's current position provides valuable information into the company's future value and growth potential relative to stocks that may have already reached their peak and are more likely to decline. Number 5. What is the market cap? Market capitalization is the company's overall value based on the number of outstanding shares. Therefore, if 1,000 shares were issued at $100 each, the company's market capitalization would be $100,000. This number is not necessarily indicative of a company's financial stability. A $40 billion corporation is just as susceptible to bankruptcy as a $40 million company. It may be preferable to utilize this data point to indicate possible growth. A corporation with a market capitalization of $1 trillion may not have much room for expansion. Number 4. What is the moat? In the same way that a moat protects a fortress, 
What safeguards this company, its inventory, and your investment from being wiped out by the competition? For instance, do they own robust intellectual property and the ability to defend it against worldwide copycats? Or are entry barriers such as legislation, connectivity, and expenses so high that it would be difficult for entrants to compete? Consider biotechnology, marijuana, or finance as opposed to Netflix NFLX NFLX, which currently has dozens of competitors with extremely low prices. Number 3. What is its purpose in your portfolio? Why do you include this stock in your portfolio? Will it produce dividends that generate passive income? Is the company so robust that it can assist you in preserving your wealth? Or is the purpose of this investment to grow your cash quickly? It is crucial to understand this to invest in it within the appropriate asset allocation bucket to reach your financial goals within your specific timeframes. Number 2. What are the fees? How much does it cost to acquire and sell this investment? How much are any recurring asset management fees, splits, and other holding costs? What is your actual net return after deducting all of these costs? The fees associated with this investment will determine your net returns. Investments with high yields and fees may not generate greater returns than those with modest yields and no expenses. Recognize the bottom line. Number 1. What are their customer happiness ratings? The first indicator of a company's capacity to survive and thrive in the future is customer satisfaction. More importantly, are they eager to recommend it to others? In addition to online reviews, the Net Promoter Score NPS, is one metric used to measure this. Before considering an investment, you should ask yourself the following 10 questions. It may be time to revisit your own equities and ask these questions. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed our video. Kindly like and share the video, and do comment to us below. Thanks for watching.